Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to talk about in terms of the topic uh, of time series, right? Uh, now we are taking a look at different models out there, the linear regression, the multiple linear regression and so on. Uh, now we're going to be taking a look at in terms of time series models, right? So what a time series is, is going to be in terms of if there is a kind of variable uh, is measured over time. So let's say, you know what, we want to find out uh, PE which is uh, price over earnings of a firm, right? I mean, so PE uh, can be a factor of, if you were to uh, create some kind of a time series model per se, you can say, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe price over earnings uh, depends on something like sales, right? Uh, it could be based on uh, probably something like the consumer price index, right? It could be based on say GDP, Right and so on. So what we're trying to take a look at is uh, at a particular time. So let's say you know what we consider as a certain month, say month January of say twenty nineteen. Uh, what were these numbers? And then say hey, you know what at February twenty nineteen, uh, what were these numbers? And then we'll get some kind of a value for PE, right? So this is going to be based on a time series model because at a particular time, uh, we will take a look at what the sales numbers are what the CPI is, what GDP is. So at maybe a January, we look at all of this and we'll come up with a number. At February, we'll look at all of this for February and then we'll come up with a number. So that way we'll get uh, something called as a time series models. All right, so uh, it's a variable which is gonna be depending on time. Now, when you talk about time series models, just use a different sketch. Now, when you do a time series models, uh, there's two types of models that really comes into place uh, in terms of the trend models, right? So in terms of trend models, uh, the two more common ones, uh, the first one is a linear trend model. Uh, and the next one that we look at is in terms of something called as a log linear trend model. So one is a linear trend, the other one is a log linear trend. Now, if you want to try to find out that, hey, you know what, uh, which one is a linear trend model, right? So let's take a look at it. So a linear and a log linear trend model. So linear, as we know, is going to look like something like this. A log linear would look something like this. Right. Uh, so if there is any kind of, uh, uh, so let's say, you know what, there's two types of uh, charts that we are looking at. So forget about this, forget about these model names. Uh, just by looking at it, if we have something like this that we saw on here, uh, from the previous discussions about uh, regression models, what we can do is we can try to make it something like this. Right. We can convert a linear model into something like this, where we have uh, something like reversion to mean, so we can try to find out what the mean is. Verse, if there is something like, something is growing exponentially, right, this is an exponential increase, what we will have to do is we'll have to take a log models to convert the exponential growth into a log model, so it can become a covariance stationary model, where once again, we can try to determine uh, regression to mean models, right? So, I mean, if you have something which is like this, uh, that's gonna be a linear trend model. And if something like this, you will have to use a log linear, so convert whatever the model is, uh, convert it into a log linear model uh, to bring in some covariance stationary. Now looking at in terms of a bit more details. Uh, so let's say, you know what, if we want to go and try to find out Let's say in terms of uh, the most common one that we can see in terms of exponential growth is when, hey, you know what, when there's companies like, uh, say, Canada Goose uh, or Netflix or Amazon, which they come out initially, and they have these kind of growth in terms of, let's say we were trying to create sales models in time, uh, they usually have very dramatic uh, sales, right? I mean, if you wanna have, be investing in a company, you either wanna see dramatic earnings or dramatic sales, 
right? Uh, that is where investors are going to get gravitated towards, right? I mean, if you see dramatic sales or dramatic earnings, uh, then yeah, you know what? As an investor, you'd probably want to be taking a look at it and you want to be involved in those uh, growth names, right? I mean, you don't want to be investing in something where the sales or the earnings are flat. I mean, there's really no growth. So you really want to be investing in something which actually has more uh, exponential sales, exponential growth on there. Now, given the fact that you have something which uh, goes exponentially, uh, now how can you actually go and determine uh, what can be the price of, let's say, this particular thing in the future? You cannot. So that's where we use a log linear model. Right? And keep in mind, when you talk about sales or earnings for any companies, uh, generally there's going to be a seasonality effect. Right? When you talk about, say, retail, right? Uh, retail is clothes, shoes, and so on. Those are more of a seasonal effect where during December uh, or in the end of the year when people usually buy a whole bunch of stuff, and at the end when these talk about different companies, uh, they usually will report really good sales or earnings numbers for the end of the year. Right? That's usually the case. Now, when you have two different models, uh, if you have something which uh, is growing exponentially, we use a log linear model, right? Because we're trying to find, based on the regression model that we talked about, uh, we try to find something called as a covariance stationary, right? Covariance stationary means we convert these models, these two kind of models, uh, into something that we can understand and we can predict, right? So it's something, a model like this is called a covariance stationary because now there is, this is gonna be the mean, Right? This is the mean. And then you know what? Sometimes the sales can be up. Sometimes the sales can be down. Sometimes the sales can be up. But at the end of the day, you know what? It reverts back to mean. So if we can know what the mean is, then we can predict the future. Because in this way, uh, with this particular chart, uh, there's no way you can really tell uh, whether the sales are going to be like this, it's going to be like this, it's going to be like this, or it can be like this. Right? There's no way for you to tell. But if you can convert this model into this model, then there is some kind of a prediction that you can do, hey, you know what, if the sales numbers were too high this time, that's okay, because I mean, when you talk about reversion to mean, I mean, nothing remains at high to all the time, so it's gonna come back to his mean. Or if the sales numbers were too low, uh, then we know that, you know what, based on historical numbers, uh, it can actually come back to where it is, right? So that's where prediction uh, can happen with a log linear trend model. So guys, if you like the video, uh, do like and subscribe. Uh, it's going to keep me more motivated to make more video for you guys and have a good one.